Right, uh, we are in lesson 10 uh, on custom factors. When we first look at factors, we explore the set of built-in factors. Uh, frequently, a desired computation isn't necessarily included as a built-in factor. That's in those cases, you will need to define your own. Uh, one of the most powerful feature of uh, the pipeline API is that it allows us to define our own custom factors. When a desired computation doesn't exist as a built-in factor, we define our own. So conceptually, a custom factor is identical to a built-in factors. It accepts inputs, windows length, window length, sorry, mask as a constructor arguments and return a factor object each day. So let's take an example of computation that doesn't exist as a built-in um, factor, so standard deviation. So let's get the notebook. Okay, so we're gonna follow through with this. So to create a factor that computes the standard deviation over a trailing window, we can subclass the quantopian.pipeline.custom factor and implement a compute method whose signature is of this. So you have self, uh, which is uh, a class, Python class, today, uh, assets, IDs, out, and also asterisk inputs. So inputs, uh, m times n numpy array where m is the window length and n is the number of security usually around 8000 unless a mask is provided uh, inputs, inputs are training, are training data, data windows note that there will be one m, m times n array, array for each bound column, column provided, provided, in provided in the factors, in the factors in input list. list the data type for the data type each of each array, array will be the d type, the d -type of, the of the corresponding bound, uh, column. bound column out is an empty array of length n I will be the output of our custom factor each day. The job of compute is to write output values into out. Asset IDs will be an integer array of length n containing security IDs corresponding to the column in our star or asterisk inputs array. So this is really the asset IDs. And today will be pandas timestamp representing the day for which compute is being called. So of these, asterisk inputs and are out are the most commonly used. An instance of custom factors uh, that's been added to pipeline will have its compute method called each day or every day. For example, it, let's define a custom factor that computes the standard deviation of the close price over the last five days. To start with, let's add custom factor and numpy to our import statement. So let's just import this and run this. So we need to, um, from quantopian.pipeline, we import the custom factor, and we also need to import numpy. So let's define our custom factor to calculate the standard deviation of a trailing window using the numpy NAN standard deviation. So we define a class called std, standard deviation, bracket, custom factor. And within it, we define compute self today asset id out and value so exactly a replication of what was actually being stated over here okay so we're going to calculate the column wise column wise remember is down uh standard deviation ignoring the not the numbers so everything in terms of the output will be stored onto out we're using numpy and nan std and values which is this one here m times n and exist is equal to zero. Finally, let's instantiate our factor in make pipeline. So STD or standard deviation is equal to STD DV, uh, DV, which is what we define here. The inputs is where is, um, what are we computing against, uh, which is the close price and window length is five. Okay, so here we define the standard deviation um, class here we actually specify what we want to compute on so we compute on the close price as well as how long five days in this case and everything to be stored in the pipeline column called std underscore dev and this refers to that variable so when this pipeline is run uh, the send deviation will compute uh, dot compute will be called every day with data and the uh, following manner because we didn't have mask so in this case it will run the standard deviation calculations for all 8000 stocks and um, 
is an m times n numpy array n is the all the assets that's in the quantopian database m in this case is five because we say specify five window length and it will basically that's what the values uh, will be uh, being fed so that's what this value is out an empty array of length n because we are only calculating a standard deviation over five days so it will only be one single um, in this case uh, one single array of length of n in this case the job of compute is to populate out with a written array storing five days close price standard deviation okay so I think I've run this, but let's run that in anyway, just in case. So run the pipeline for 2015, so sorry, uh, 2015, May 5th. So as you run this, you can see that uh, we have all 8,000 something columns and we have the five days uh, send deviation for all the whole stocks universe. The default inputs. When writing a custom factor, we can set default inputs and window length in our custom factor subclass uh, which part is that uh, let's come back up here so the subclass is this one here so we can actually put in the default for uh, ahead of time so we have the inputs and we also have the window length ahead of time you can put that as a default uh, up front in this subclass here so here we are defining a subclass called 10 day mean difference uh, brackets custom factor the inputs being close price as well as the opening price and the windows length here is 10 days we are interested in the 10 days the last 10 days trading 10 days again we have this self today asset IDs out close but there's a slight difference there's an open here so let's compare this to what we have earlier so we have self today asset ID out and values here instead of values we have two that we define here the close as well as the open so under out we just basically calculate the mean between close and open for the last uh, with the axis of zero so remember in this case that close and open are each 10 times roughly 8000 is a 2d uh, numpy array okay so if we call 10 day mean difference without providing any arguments it will use the defaults which is what's stated here so we will compute the 10 day mean difference between daily open and close price so the close open diff is equal this is the variable which we store the output of this so just let's run that the defaults can be manually overridden by specifying arguments uh, in the constructor cell so high low difference is slightly different from that but this time round we want to look at high and low rather than the open and close price well we'll run that some further example let's take another example where we build a momentum custom factor and use it to create a filter we will then use that filter as a screen for our pipeline so let's start by defining a momentum factor to be the division of the most recent close price by the close price from n days ago uh, where n is the window length here we have the subclass momentum within uh, custom factors the inputs default is the close price and we define the momentum being uh, close minus one and close zero um, again it's the self today assets out and close as well so let's take the example of 10 day momentum factor minus one here refers to the latest uh, whereby close zero here refers to the oldest so 10 days ago uh, close price to calculate our momentum factor so we're going to do three things here calculate the 10 day momentum factor 20 day momentum factor and also a positive momentum filter so here we have 10 day momentum factor using the momentum subclass that we define here the window length here is 10 and the 20 day is window length has a window length of 20 positive momentum really is combining the 10 day is does it equal to one or greater than one and the 20 day is it greater than one as well so if uh, today's price which is the uh, the latest one divided by price 
10 days ago for the 10 day momentum is greater than one, then we have the price have gone up, right? So if the price today is 10, the price uh, 10 days ago is eight, then we've gone up 1.25. Uh, whereas if you looking at the 20 is exactly the same principle, greater than one means that our price have gone up. So let's add this to the pipeline and see what it looks like. So we have these two, which is the same as what was defined. This is the positive momentum future. We also want to include the standard deviation of the close price for the last five days. We store this as a column to be returned with the pipeline. But this time around, we want to screen for positive momentum only. Now, there might be some confusion between screen and mask. Mask actually forces pipeline to only perform computations on the subsets, okay, a smaller subsets. And whereby screen uh, computation is still done on all 8,200 plus uh, assets. Um, but screen will only return the smaller subset. So the difference between mask and uh, screen is such that screen is computationally more expensive. Every com computation is done on everything, but uh, you get a smaller subset and the output, whereby mask actually forces the computation to be on a smaller subset along the way. Right, when you run this pipeline, and over this period, I think I didn't run this momentum, and run this, and run this, and as I run this, and you will see that the standard deviation, the 10-day momentum, and the 20-day momentum are all stored here. And that's really how you actually make use of the custom factor. Um, and you can actually define your own custom factor for computation in pipeline. Uh, they are frequently the best way to perform uh, computation on a partner data sets or on multiple data columns. And you can actually see the full documentation uh, using this as well. So in the next lesson, uh, we will look at the uh, combining everything all together. Um, I look forward to seeing you then.